Oh no! Yes! Oh, this is so sick! Bellingham, finally. So today we got a pretty cool collaboration going with four mountain bike YouTubers. Ryan, who is the Lone Ranger, came out this way from Alberta for a week-long trip. Eric of BCPOV came down from Vancouver. And three of us met with Josh of Daily Mountain Bike Rider at Galbraith Mountain. Just yesterday, I got my new chainstay put on along with some new bearings and I also put on the new front brake lever. Now my bike feels a lot more solid. All right, boys, ready to pin it uphill. Before we go downhill. <laughs> I was supposed to take my Norco Truax along, but I really needed to rebuild the rear shock on that one and it just wasn't ready on time. So I did my best to make the DH bike work for these trails. Put 40 PSI in my tires, put extra air in my fork. I really want to keep up with these guys on this ride. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, so for today's video, we're hiking all the way to the very top to ride a trail called SST. That trail is a nice long trail that will bring us all the way down to the parking lot. That looks good. Yeah, it's a little flat. I think it's not bad. Oh, I think it's a good steep enough line. I'll hit it. It's that jump afterward. That's a pain in the butt. <laughs> right on. Yep. Oh, no problem. And you can't use it. Yeah, it just shows up as a keyboard instead of a SST, huh? Yes. Okay, fist bump. <laughs> Boink. There, I ruined it for you. Oh man. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, Jared. <laughs> All right. Better. Woo. All right. Woo. Oh, sick. Woohoo. Oh, that's so dope. So sick. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> that was so good. So fun. That was so sick. Whoops. Sorry. I think I was wise to put in 40 PSI. Helps me roll through it all. What's up? Oh, I see it. This is a step up. Okay. I couldn't remember where it was at, that's why I slowed down. I usually start up here. Alright, we're gonna pin it. Oh, I see. Alright, we're riding SST, guys. This is so sick. Start to session a uh, step down into a step up. I'm really feeling these hard tires, like, I'm not uh, absorbing the little stuff very well because my tires are so hard. But yeah, it's... the sidewalls in the Marys are really stiff. Yeah. 40 PSI, I think it's crazy, man. Are you 40 PSI? Yeah, oh. for today. I normally do about 30. Oh, wow. That. Yeah, I barely cleared him. I watched you guys barely. That was tough. I told you the step down kind of sucks. I see a lot of people roll the step down. Like I tried to clear as much as I could. And I also barely made this. Alright, recording everyone again. We're gonna all boost the step up. Yeah, I cleared that so much better. 
<laughs> Good one, buddy. I destroyed that thing. <laughs> Eric and Josh. Oh, sweet. Thanks. <laughs> Do you guys want to go right into the rock feature? Uh, may as well. It's right around the corner. I'll try not to go north heavy. Here we go. Alright, shall we? Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. On a very high gear. Alright. Oh, and Josh, we're gonna head into a uh, rock drop. Okay, hitting a rock truck. Woo! <laughs> Sweet. It's not bad, it's just there's that tree right there. So, okay, wait. If you hit this step up, I don't, no, you it doesn't don't. set you up for this drop very well. Yeah, no, you don't hit the step up. Okay. You just, just gotta come up high. Yeah. So you got it. This is all the travel I use on my drop. Oh, wow. It's still too much air in my part. That's how much I use on mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I About the same as mine, actually. Yes. <laughs> just, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this step up was hard to clear. So, like, you wanna come up here or where? I think so. Like, on, like on this line. It's a bit weird, but it's not that bad. you're not even going that fast over it anyway. I ended up deciding it was best to just hit that step up in order to line myself up for that next step down. Avoiding that step up would just create too awkward of a turn before that step down. So for this line, we're just going to link all three stunts together. Okay, hit the step down to the step up into the other little drop. Let's send it. Oh yeah. yeah. Woo! That was mint. Dude, I cleared this step up so much easier. That was the smoothest I've ever hit that rock drop. Nice. I just followed you on it. Yeah, I hit it pretty smoothly too. I landed a little bit on the left side of the, kind of on those rocks, but it was a good landing spot. All right. That was more tiring. Yes, it was. More pedaling, eh? Yeah. yeah. So some parts of this trail I could handle pretty well with the DH bike and clear all the jumps. And then certain parts of the trail were just too flat and just too pedally for my bike, which is what I was already expecting anyway. It's hard to say just how much of a difference the 40 PSI really made, but I'm sure it did help compared to the normal 30 PSI that I would have. Fun little jumps, a little double, a big rock garden turn, and then it's like a roller coaster. Just tight. Cool. All right, back door. Yep.
That was a fun way to finish off. Yeah, man. That's good. That was a fun way to end. Yeah, it was. That was sweet. I call this a manual arcade over here. Oh, yeah. It's just all downhill cruising. I like it. How are your manuals, Jordan? Uh, not very good. Yeah, I'm not very good at manuals. I don't know, I'm too scared. I feel like I fall on my butt. So it seemed like the very beginning section and that very last section worked better with my bike compared to that middle section. But certainly these trails do work better with shorter travel bikes. I would love to bring a 16 travel enduro bike back to this place again. Even a hardtail would be awesome for these trails too. And I am looking into getting a hardtail. It's probably the next bike that I'll buy actually. Just because it is going to be cheaper and it'll sort of be like my intro into these 27.5 inch uh, enduro bikes. Certainly I want to get a 6 inch travel full suspension enduro bike as well but that may have to wait a little bit longer but we'll see. So this was part one of our ride. Come back next week for part two of this ride where we hike up the other side of the mountain and ride some really cool trails. Thank you for watching. I want to give a special thanks to my Boostmaster patrons. If you love downhill and free ride or just love riding mountain bikes then consider subscribing. And if you like to see more content and keep me rolling on two wheels, then check out my Patreon page. 